Hey Internet, it's Gunter with Many Mishaps, and today I am going to walk through with you how to create a character within the Gatherverse RPG system. So, this system is meant to be adaptive, it's constantly changing and growing, it's meant to be able to translate characters from other RPG games. So you can bring in your D&D character or your Pathfinder character or uh, and actually can even bring in from broader sources than uh, than just those kinds of RPGs because of the way that this is set up. We're going to talk about that in other videos. Today we are working on our first character at level 1, how to get them started. So the things that a character needs at level 1. First you're going to need a major stat. You get three abilities to choose two connections and two actions at level one. Later you'll gain prestige, wealth, uh, gear attunement, and boons. But at level one we just have those other four sets of things to choose. The sample character that we're going to create today with you, uh, we're going to name him Flutter. And Flutter is a Lepidopteran. If you don't know what that is, it is a person that it goes through the stages of becoming a butterfly. So they start as a caterpillar person and um, then transform into, into the full adult Lepidopter and butterfly person. Um, but it's more that I'm putting an example here because this is a homebrew race and the race in this generation and this character creation doesn't affect stats or that you don't have anything to remember, you don't have any kind of features that you need to keep track of. Everything that you have is going to be caused by your abilities. Now if you want to choose abilities that reflect the race that you have, that is um, completely an option uh, that you have. So later when I get to action, so I'll, uh, I'll explain something like that. Now, the major stat, these are going to be set by your GM, but if you're translating, say, from D&D, your major stat would be strength, dexterity, constitution, charisma, intelligence, or wisdom. Um, if you're translating from another game system or your GM wants something different for those major stats, make sure to find out what those are before you set up your characters. Uh, but those will be the six that we'll probably start with today because most of you interested in the Gatherverse are probably joining us from a Dungeons and Dragons background. Now I've got to choose a major stat and I'm going to have my Lepidopteran be a potion maker. And so the major stat that I'm going to choose here is going to be intelligence because I want them to be able to read books about flowers and components and mixing and alchemy and all that kind of stuff. And I think that intelligence will help them uh, make their uh, potions. So you choose a major stat to give you a modifier. You have three abilities. Now you can think of these as the skills, um, if you like. Your ability can be something like history or nature. Your ability could be acrobatics and you know all those that you're used to from a regular D20 RPG system. But it can also be things like jobs. So like locksmithing or shield making or jewelry making, um, public speaking, uh, those kinds of uh, jobs. It can also be a quality, so courageous uh, or quick reflexes, those, those kinds of things are in there as well. Now you're going to choose these abilities from if your GM has created a list that exist in your version of the Gatherverse, uh, you'll have to choose from that list. If they don't have a list, then your abilities are, can be anything you want, and 
your GM will be in charge of how rapidly those level up. Uh, what types of actions you would have to take to level those up. Again, that's a lot and it's for a different video. So today we're just picking out those abilities. For abilities, I am going to choose lore, flowers, or plants. We'll go with plants. And then I'm going to choose a steady hand, which I think will help with the potion making. Uh, and then I am going to put curious as my third ability so that we have a physical descriptor, something that they know, and a trait that they have. It can be three of one. I could have picked three different lores if I wanted them to know plants and magic and uh, elves. Um, but right here we're going with lower plants, so plant lore, a steady hand, and curious. The connection, you're going to pick two, but you don't have to have them when you start playing the game. A connection here is an NPC that will go out of their way to give your character aid. This might be a ruler if they're in a kingdom. This might be a head of a re you know, religious organization or a childhood friend. Uh, this can really be anyone um, in your universe that your character will seek help from. Uh, so it's a place where if you if you get stuck in the story bit, uh, if your character doesn't know what to do next, if you need to uh, next quest in the line, this is a place where you know you can go to get those from the GM. For the two connections, I am going to say that he has got a potion master that he is training with, so he's got a teacher. And we're going to say that the other person is a town guard that is the one that probably inspired him to go out and do adventuring. So these two people are characters that will give me quests or... And the nice thing here is you can change your connections anytime you level up. You can switch to have different NPCs because you're going to travel if you go off continent, you know, your person is not accessible or they... They get caught up in a, in something that makes them unavailable, or they get killed. Now you can you can assign those at the next time you level up. Uh, the next the last thing that you're going to need here is an action. Uh, you're going to need two actions, and these are essentially actions that happen. You can think of them as actions that happen within battle. Uh, so a melee attack, a ranged attack, and a spell are all types of actions, but you also have move, uh, move actions um, and things don't, uh, don't have to be in those three uh, categories of actions, but they are actions that you take um, that take a set amount of time that aren't a skill or ability. Uh, since I'm going to have my guy start as a non-combatant, I'm going to have my actions be move. Uh, and I'm going to choose fly. So the move action there, my guy can fly, he's a butterfly. Uh, but to be able to fly, I have to choose that move action to fly. Um, and your GM is going to determine which things you can and cannot learn later in life. Um, or which things you'd have to, you know, quest to accomplish first. And then for my second action, I am going to gather components. So my guy, until he levels up to uh, third level when he gets another action, has no combat actions. Now, this doesn't mean he can't fight. This only means that he gets no bonuses doing those actions while he's fighting. So he can still try and use a sword, he can still try and use a bow, he can still try and do anything like any other check that he has no modifiers for. Um, but for his actions, when he's choosing actions, he can gather components or he can move by flying. Alright, we have got Flutter. He's ready to jump into the Gatherverse at level 1. 
He is a Lepidopteran potion maker. Intelligence is his primary stat. He's got plant lore, a steady hand, and he's curious for his abilities. His teacher and, his, and the guard friend are his uh, connections in the world, and his abilities, uh, or rather his actions that he can take uh, and get a bonus to do so, are to move by flying and gather components. So those are all of the things it takes to create a uh, first level character. And I hope you've enjoyed, and if you want to experience the Gatherverse system in real time, you can check that out on our Discord. If you want to, again, we are designing a world book and building that and putting that together. If you want to help us achieve that dream of writing that book, uh, you can support us on Patreon, and all of those links will be in the description. I sure appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a blast with this. Make all kinds of different characters. Put it in the comments, the characters that you create. We want to hear about all the different kinds. And uh, we actually also have a series for putting popular uh, characters from uh, movies and, and games into the Getaverse, what they would look like um, as they were choosing their, their abilities uh, from based on the, the comic or movie or whatever that they were in. Uh, so you can look for that series, and I'll link that series up here as well. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Internet.